teams will go head to head for the East Tennessee PBS exactly. Scholars Bowl. It's a team competition where local high school students vie for the academic championship of our viewing area host Frank Murphy joins us now. Okay, first off, Frank, how, how many teams are we dealing with in a competition like this? Well, we were lucky to have uh, 27 teams in this year's competition, which is about half as many as we'd have in a non pandemic year. And of those uh, 27 teams, some of them are from the same schools. Like, for example, Webb put two teams in the competition, uh, which actually is, I think, a, a path to success when you have uh, two teams from one school. The Lingunger kids get more playing time. Well, how will this play out? Uh, how many nights of competition? Well, we'll have um, those 27 teams will take 26 nights to eliminate one That's per night, helps. starting today, actually, 5.30 this afternoon on East Tennessee PBS and running for, I guess, the next five or six weeks or so. Uh, single elimination tournament. The goal is to make it not only to um, the first round, but then to the Smart 16, then to the Educated Eight, then to the Philosophical Four, and ultimately <laughs> to the championship <laughs> and the Frank Miller Memorial Trophy. Oh, clever. Names. All right, so I don't want you to give anything away. No spoilers here, but what's some of the hardest questions you've ever seen and some of the easiest questions you've ever seen? Well, for me, the math questions are, you know, incomprehensible. I should say that. <laughs> I should say the trigonometry, the calculus questions are super difficult because I'm surprised that I've started to learn more algebra in doing the show. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen, but we all proofread the questions. My homework assignment is to go home and read the questions and study them, and I've actually caught some typos on algebra questions. I was shocked. Um, but we also uh, put in a lot of more, uh, well, I say current events type questions where you may have to uh, know something that happened within the past year, but the ultimately it comes down to, well, this chemical element uh, with atomic number uh, 27 is being mined somewhere in the world. Mm. What element is it? That Absolutely, easy, of course. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Piece of cake. E easy, easy. <laughs> I like the Dolly Parton questions. Those ones I'm more comfortable with. <laughs> and Leanne, our producer, wants to know what's the answer to that question. Oh, uh, the one about the chemical? Uh -huh. Usually, uh, it's usually uh, nickel and cadmium. That's a safe bet if you want to take a guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I if like you don't how know, you guess, think. Guess an ICAD, yeah, if you're not well, positive. I know there's a lot of categories, uh, but people can watch from home? Yes, uh, two ways to watch, of course, on regular television on East Tennessee PBS, but also if you're a PBS member, which is I think about five bucks a month, you can get the Passport app and uh, watch the show streaming on any of your devices, which is pretty darn convenient. And then uh, we do. Uh, post the shows at the end of the season, season. We post them all online at EastTennessePBS.org, which is how the students watch. And you can tell because they have watched so, uh, so carefully, so closely, that they can anticipate sometimes where the question is headed before I'm finished asking it. Interesting. You gotta study the tape, Frank. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. It's just like sports. Oh, exactly. Exactly oh. like sports. And we were able to use uh, some of the TS. Uh, AA, whatever it is, CWSRA regulations, you know what I'm trying to say, yeah. um, to how we did the competition this year. I'm the referee, they were the players. We spread everybody out, we did social distancing, we kept the masks on right until camera time, and uh, we were able to do it safely, and it was really great. In fact, one of the ways we did it was we added four cameras to the studio. Oh my goodness. Wow. And the show looks that much better that everybody said, you know, I guess we're gonna have to do it this way from now on, even after the pandemic. All mm -hmm. right, well, we look forward to seeing it. We thank you for coming on, Frank. Great to oh, see sure. you. Thank you, Beth, thank you, Lewis. Yeah.